but I was selling weed. I was partying, drinking, smoking, fighting, stealing. The violence is largely committed by young men of all colors, often abandoned by fathers and brought up in squalor and chaos, and then they act out in savage ways. Get into the poorest communities imaginable. Here, what you'll find: fatherlessness, broken marriages absentee dads. You know, the children who grow up without a father are more likely to live in poverty. They're more likely to drop out of school. They're more likely to wind up in prison. I loved it because it was literally just like a getaway from everything going on at home, everything going on, period. And everybody there was like a whole nother family. Study after study subsequent to this report has shown that the instances of teen pregnancy, drug abuse, uh, uh, school dropout rates, involvement with the criminal justice system rose alarmingly when fathers weren't present in the home. Streets is relatable to, they make it relatable to things that are happening in a teenager's life. Start our broadcast with breaking news tonight. One person is in the hospital after a shooting in South Lansing. Honestly, the person I was before it was just just focused on the wrong things. Um, it talks about in the Bible always focuses on fleshly, ungodly things, and that's what I was focused on. Um, my mindset wasn't right. The way streets impacted me was it it helped keep me off the streets. Actually, that's <laughs> ironic, but it helped keep me off the streets. It helped keep me out of jail. It helped keep me me in day because the path I was about to go on was. Not a good one at all. It made me realize that I needed to seek God and better my relationship with Him because every time I was going through a rough like time, I would just like I would wouldn't know what to do. And at camp and at streets, it helped you realize like you could go to God. Pat has been there for me 24/7, regardless of what it is, and He always gives me He always gives me the answer that I need to hear instead of what I want to hear. Um, he loves me unconditionally. He's just been like a big brother that I never had. Um, he, like I said, he's the reason I got baptized. He's a big reason why uh, I'm closer to God. Um, and like I said, he's just the reason why I'm at Huntington University. The thing that Streets helped me with most was um, making my making me think more in depth about being Christian and and who God is and um, what He's done for us. It helped me. Um, it helped me better myself. It helped me. Help me find God. To be honest with y'all, because I really, I, I went to church, but I was not. You feel me? I did not. I didn't. I didn't trust God at all. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not trust God. I knew. He, I believed in Him, but I don't trust. I didn't trust Him. I didn't. I'm not gonna lie to you. If something was wrong, I'd probably call Pat, even though he's two hours away, because I know that he would come help me. I would just suggest to you that if we care about our city, and if we care about our communities, if we care about our teens, who used to be second graders, and if we care about our second graders, who very soon will be teens, if we recognize that it is not not understandable. We can understand it. And if we recognize that we can do something about it, we can play our part, then I'm left with this question. If we know that, what would it say about us if we don't do it?